even if it ain't good. I'm not sound working right now. Fuck! Sorry. Oh, shit. What? We're live. Yeah, dude, we're live, dude. It's good, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna play a... Ooh. And be big, big boy. Big red. Big yellow. Big green. Big blue. Big black. It's great. Big red. Maybe there's not gonna be as many horny boys. Mankind. No, I don't think so. Change the <laughs> Dual one. Let's rock. I finally figured out how to how to do stuff. <laughs> Once I know, I know how to get in. Dead. What? No. This actually does feel a lot better. Uh, this feels a lot better, yeah. Also not. You say you can do this as a, another Garuda impact into a, a big grab. I don't know how true that is. Okay, that's... I think I should relearn everything. It feels better though than before. That's good. Yeah. Buttons. Working? Yep. I try I fluffed up my uh culture there. Try to get my uh Death. Death from above! The big boy grab. Sam, Sam, learning on the fucking stick, Joe, huh? I'm just happy that I feel like I'm controlling. Like, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have any, uh... Okay. Well, 
The double Sunday. the girl you can only count in odd numbers like she like can't even oh <laughs> shit Drupal's in the house again let's go Drupal's in the house big daddy Drupal there's the enemy that's how uh, I like how that grab is like better than his super hmm? is grab better than his super is it a command grab? Yeah. Yeah, well I mean it's like a spe it's it's the same thing that he does when uh when he does his um his ultimate. Oh shit, I didn't mean to hit the button. How goes the arcade stick? Getting used to it? Uh a little bit. A little bit. Uh, yeah, it's it's getting better. I watched some like some videos on how to uh, on how to uh, get better with it. Oh, 
I could have swore I grabbed you there. But I guess I wasn't close enough. Target decommissioned. Understood. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting better. It's uh still an adjustment. Jump over my hammer fall. Oh fuck. Garuda impact. Garuda impact. Garuda impact. I might be able to pub stomp kid to this guy, almost. Proceeding with the mission but then again, I don't know. I don't know actually how good I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cause I feel like uh, you you should like try and just fucking go all in on me or whatever there. Yeah, it's hard because that's cool as fuck. I mean, I could do this, but then like. If you I, hammer fall into me yeah. when I'm like right next to it, then I I'm forced to block, and then it starts block comboing me. Yeah. And then you can just like use your grab on me, can't you? I guess like yeah, if I get uh, right up close. Cause you can go through it, and I can't. And once it starts, a like block uh, trading or whatever. <laughs> Please. <laughs> little kick. I'm sorry. 
Oh, oh wow, that long reach. Yeah, if I have uh, both of my things. I don't know, dude. Yeah, I like you were like literally colliding with my character, and I grabbed when I was in the corner one time, and it still didn't hit. So I was, sometimes it's fucking big. Uh oh. Oh, it's right. Where is Chris's bow tie? Oh, oh shit. Oh, I didn't even notice. Sam didn't notice. Well done. Return to base. That's why we have people in chat that tell us. They keep us uh keep us in line. This guy kills people a lot faster than Chip, that's all I got to say. Yeah, I think Chip has some of the lowest damage in the game. Yeah. Put the glass cannon on top. Nope. So you gotta play him like you're constantly on them. On top of them. Yeah. So it's like... like when I see Lefum play him, it's like crazy how fucking like much pressure he has on the enemy. I just gotta play this guy like I play Chip. You know? He's almost the same character. One guy's bigger than the other. I gotta be able to do something with this guy. <laughs> the fucking tippy hand at the hand. God, what? I feel like I should be able to get a, I should. I feel like I should be able to get a grab or something off that. Yeah. I don't know if you like if you're in the middle of guard break and maybe you can't grab though. Like if you're shielding something already. I don't know if you can grab. Oh, you know what it is? Maybe you have to wait. Until the instant it it uh, it finishes, yeah. Cause I do that when I uh. <laughs> Oh my god. What the cat run? It's over. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boys. Let's rock. You guys know that the blonde woman 
Only four female groups of three, fives, or sevens. Hell, even I confronted a group of this discovery, and the response was, Oh my god, I can't even. <laughs> oh, I'm cut. Remember when Chris wore his bow tie before his streams? Instead of reflecting. What are you talking about? I'm God, I always do that. I always wear my bow tie. At least oh, he's perfect. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> Sam got <laughs> Sam got his last slash. I was like, I don't care. I know I'm gonna lose. <laughs> the big hand comes out fast. Stick your hand out. What? You jumped right over my Gerudo Impact! Look at this, I'm cut redeems the black chocobo, the repeat in the tub. Repeat in, in the tub and the black chocobo. And the Pepe gets back in the tub, naturally. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? At least the black chocobo at least the chocobo doesn't disappear anymore. You never know, dude. There's a there's a first for every time. Alright. Ow, ow, ow. No! Can I redeem, uh, stop showing off your fucking crap on stream? <laughs> How would I drink it then, I'm cut? I'm just like, I want you guys to be fucking degenerates, not drink anything. I want you to eat fucking burgers. Burgers? Oh, I fucked up. Doesn't matter. You're still playing against some fucking hard work. <laughs> oh! Not even my Garuda in town. Oh, ch oh, come on. Yeah, that's right, bitch. No! <laughs> Your fucking little tiny head goes right in between those two big Mission fucking hands. Well done. Mission accomplished. Dual one. I wonder if I should go back to Chip. See what happens. See Sam, what happens. Sam just starts winning games. I'm not. I'm gonna win less games against Chip. Are you kidding me? I was gonna say protein milkshake, but you know, you guys are from BOSS! What's this? It's called the uh, ultimate? That's it? I go half the screen, baby. It's like that didn't even touch it. Destroy the hitbox! Better let me just fucking punch you, uppercut your ass. No, you do. Wait, how did that not hit you? No! Oh! They call me the ultimate boy because that's all I can do to win. <laughs> that's it. You're gonna. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to me, huh? Yo, check this out, though. Oh, oh, you jump? You jump, you die. 
Oh! Oh, the Dora! The Doria! I know how to get in! I know how to get in! There we go! Oh! I was trying to do mine! <laughs> Better back up, because we're gonna get ya! No, you're not. Oh, there you go. No! I did the wrong move! Oh, hold on. Okay. No! That shit! Yes! No! I'm, I'm blocking! <laughs> Your big fat head! Alright, that's it. No, not the Garuda impact. Can I do two of these? Adapted. I was gonna say pro. Oh yeah. yeah. We were gonna read the same thing. You know what I haven't done in a while? Yeah, I'm cut. See that right there? Please. That's the Bow Bros muscle right there. The Bow Bros muscles. It's not Venice Beach. It's Boston Beach. It's Boston <laughs> Beach. I'm cut. When are you gonna fight us in this game? Yeah, I'm cut. You fucking coward. You little bitch. You little fucking piece of shit. When are you gonna fight us? <laughs> you see that jump? That's what we call a super jump. Let's see you do it, asshole. Ooh, I can do a... Uh... You're a big, fatty, fat, fat. <laughs> That's it, I'm coming at you. Well, I did the wrong thing, so it's not fair. Actually, wait a minute. No, well, I can't touch it right now. Well, I know what to do. I know, I figured it out. I figured it out. No, oh, I did mine! I did mine! Oh! oh baby! Fuck! Doesn't matter. Dude. I think the one thing I don't like about uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter right now because I can't do combos anyway. The one thing I don't like about fighting pot, it's the same same problem I have with fighting uh, what's his face, uh, Nago or um. Oh, fuck. It's the same problem I have with fighting Nago or uh Oh, the heavy character? Wait, is there any other heavy character? No, what is that? What is it? It's like the characters who you can't really go in on because they have more priority than you or whatever. You have to like play really more passively. I need to learn how to Engage! Engage! Yeah, so you don't use your long ass sword you have. Fight with your fist. Oh. oh! I can- I can time my, uh... <laughs> Please hit. No! I went on the other side of you, so I fucked it up! Is that that? It's boring to use my long ass swords. I need to be able to find out how to combo him, too. Found out how to uh, 
counter the hammer fall. Figured it out. Understood. Proceed with the Wait, next mission. Metrics? Yeah, if you press uh, square, it tells you metrics. What the fuck? Let's rock. Oh. That doesn't get me hit. I do the pray for me, dude. Nice. Get, stay in that corner. No, you're gonna go back in that corner. Ah! All right, that's it. Jump it, can. Gotcha. Oh my big fucking arm. All right, that's it. That's it. I had enough wish to have you. No! Sam takes a character who means weapon and needs a sword. Sam, his boy needs a sword attack. <laughs> Her slash slash heavy slash is not gonna win me games. Damn, you can uh Alright now see now I'm learning. No! Let me get in! Let's begin. Oh. No, I missed! I also realized that this guy has way more health than fucking shit. Yeah, that's another problem. It's another problem. I'm used to fighting characters who are glass cannons. No! Let me get in here! Let me grab that at it! That's it. Right, that's I can it. win by just hitting kick over and over again? What? <laughs> no! No! Oh! <laughs> you are doing well with Chip Chris. All right, let me, uh, let me switch over to Chip and see how I do. Dude, look at that. I got a little bit more technique that time. <laughs> yeah, I think it was all those kicks, dude. Kick, kick, kick. This game is a pain, and I hate Leo and Pot players. I'm hanging. What's good, man? Leo I'm, and Pot players. I'm hanging. You want you want you want to fight us? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't bleed the Pot. Duel one. Let's rock. I how it hurt me. I how I do uh, Please don't hurt me. Jeez. This guy has so much. Oh shit, dude. I take so much more damage. Dude. What the fuck happened to my health? Dude! Oh wait, I'm not potent. What the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? Oh. I said Chip because you have your icon next to your name of Chip. You, you're pl pot playing, Chris. Oh, I see. What's up, bros? I don't know how people watch this stream and not jerk off. <laughs> I just raged off this game. Oh god, who are you? What, what, what uh, floor are you on? I'm hanging. Back off! Is that all? Yeah. Shadow blow! Recovery. 
What am I doing? I feel like I'm doing like I don't know. You're just jumping around me, and I'm like, ah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> stay away, stay away. I'm still on nine. Haven't played ranked in a bit. I mean, nine's still really good, man. Yeah, nine is good. Holy shit! Fuck! I keep charging like I'm fucking caught, dude. I don't know, dude. I think you're better. I, I think you're better against my dime, my chip, and my fucking pot. It's probably because you just switched over and that was your first game. I should watch Leffen and see what he does. Yep. I do. See how he cheats? See how he makes a fool out of everyone? I made it to heaven and kept losing. Holy shit, you made it to the celestial place? What am I doing? Doing my charge shit like I back up and then uh Oh yeah, you're having a problem with control dude? You're having a Yes I am <laughs> No! This is it for me! No! Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, well you know what, man? It is what it is. Wait, who do you mean? Hanging. Yeah. Who do you mean? Oh shit, you all make me break out my man. No. See, with uh, with uh, big beak, I can just walk right through those things. I can't walk like through these things with fucking fragile little chip ass. It's like I have to fucking do work or something. I leave a poke, man. I don't have to do shit. I just fucking go in. That's it. Oh fuck! I fucked up. That's it. Woo! I started playing Soul when I played you guys. Now I'm playing Anji. Really? On Ooh. I hear Anji is really I hard. I'm just strong. I heard Anji is really hard. Dual one. Is like, the guy that like can uh, does the butterfly yeah. like fan man? <laughs> Big fan. <dude. laughs> What lobby? Ooh, you wanna play? Uh, hold on. After this fight. Let's go. Let's go. That was good. I'm fucking dead. Ah! <laughs> uh, whatever lobby doesn't have any people, just tell us what lobby you go to. West Coast Park 4. Ooh, we have to go on the West Coast. I'm going to the West Coast. West Coast, please. What I grabbed you, though? You're dead! No, I'm dead! Venus! Venus! Alright, alright, let's go to the West Coast. Park 4, West Coast. We're going to the West Coast, cause it is the best coast. Alright, uh... Network. Online. Curse, you have to play with this. 
Alright. That's fine. And I can fuck up your inputs. That's good. Are you, uh, you want to fight him first? Yeah, I'm gonna fight. Yeah, I guess I'll fight him, but... <laughs> you need the practice, dude. You need to learn the, the buttons. I need the practice. Playing up against somebody who is... Does it still work? You have to go to West Coast. How do I do that? You have to... Oh, yeah, how do you switch to... How do you switch to the West Coast? Do I have to... Oh, select region? Isn't that on the start menu? Why isn't the start menu working? Oh, uh, so you have to actually go into a park and then you have to do it, I think. It's probably easier to just do it with the controller. Just go to the park. What is it? What? West Coast Park 4. Oh, you have to go back? Oh, wait, can you go back from here? Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh, West Coast. The only person in the West Coast is I'm hanging. There's the boy. Hanging, do you do you use a stick? Was he? Or are you a controller boy? Pad player. Are you ready? Touchpad player. He plays with the touchpad. Oh, he plays with the the the, the, the laptop touchpad. <laughs> nice. He plays trackpad. He gets he gets one of those. What are they called? The the trackpad computers. The laptops with yeah. the little button in the middle that you can. <laughs> Ella on the controller. <laughs> you don't have a controller. <laughs> Use uh, keyboard keys and the the little trackpad. You got this, Sam. I believe that you can get at least two hits. One. Two hits, Sam. I'm dead. I'm so dead. You're not dead yet. You have you have one chance to get two more hits. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't even react to his stuff. Alright, I believe you can get three hits this time. You down with it. Well, at least he's not gonna rage at. Uh, oh! Three hits! Big! You can burst Sam too. I can't. I don't know what button to press. I'm fucking up. Well, if you, well, when you're in the middle of a combo, you gotta test some things. The world outside. Sam, I think you can, uh... I think you can do this. I know I can't. Mankind. Dual one. Let's rock. Which verse is it? Is it uh? Is it Duster plus another button? Uh. I'm not. Oh, he got me with the counter. I thought burst was, uh... Didn't you say it was all three bugs at the same time, or was that Roman Cancel? That's Roman Cancel. Burst would be... Duster and Heavy Slash? Yeah. I'm hanging said four buttons in the middle of the fight. Cause he, yeah, he was. He, 
How can he get? How does he? How, how does he do that? Oh, did I get him? Big? What's roaming? Get him? I caught him. He was obvious. He was typing in the middle of a fucking match. Sam, I think, I think you can. Uh, I think you can be on floor eight. Wait, we do, we do a stick now. It does kind of suck that even if I did try to get like a fight stick, I couldn't get like the one I wanted to build. It's kind of a bummer. I'm so almost fading. Touch me, babe. Shut up, Bubba. Well, Sam, you put up a good fight. Hey, it's not over yet. I got three games. Wait, is that three or two? It's two, I think, right? No, it is two. You're right. You're right. Three. Three games. Three games. Yeah, burst is four buttons. I could have swore it's it's this one here because I have this one at dust. I'm pretty sure it's this. But I think. But I, I tried hitting it, but I was probably not hitting it at the right time. I think you did put burst. Yeah, I was supposed to remove it, but it should be. It's heavy slash and R1, so it should be these two. You say it's four buttons at the same time. R1 plus triangle. Yeah, but dust is considered, I think, like three buttons or something like that. Uh, or R1 plus triangle. Oh, okay, so yeah. You can grab the food gen. What's the food gen? My brain is too slow, I should have done that sooner. Well, at least I'm doing it. Well, I hit the burst button. It didn't quite work. Maybe it's not bursting. I didn't change it unless it like changed without me knowing. Like I, I perp like I saw it in the settings, and I was like, oh, I should change this, but I'm not going to. Like you can't just burst whenever you want. You know that, right? Okay. No, you can't. There are some times where bursts like it just doesn't work. Like in the middle of a combo, you have to time it at the correct, the correct moment. So you can burst any time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can raw burst any time you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. Well, if I'm like getting my ass pounded or whatever, like at some point it doesn't, it won't work. Oh yeah, I know that. That's been that like use like try hitting the burst button. Oh my. Oh. That was, uh, that was destruction. I thought that was, a, I thought yours was frame one. What happened to the frame one data? He, uh, he, he used, uh, My his thing before mine, girl. I think. He put, he did his input. Cause he thought I was gonna do, like, a wake up move. Which I did. But it just happened to be my fucking, uh... Oh, his is a counter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. So that, he, that's smart. He just, like, ran up and, and attacked. Uh, Chris is gonna switch to his character now. So he got me on the wake up. GG's, man. You're good. And thanks for going a little easy on me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, a little so nervous. sometimes he was pounding my ass and I was hitting the button and it wasn't working because I probably was just like hitting it at the wrong time. Oh. And if you like mash it, I think that 
it will, it's like, you know, trying to mash out of, like, getting, uh, knocked down or whatever. Like, you have to time it correctly in order for it to come out right. Chris, why you just fucking mash it and it works? No, oh. it's, it, it is right. Oh, yeah, check my buttons first. You're right, you're right. I should check. This is gonna be, uh... Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. We're gonna have to switch every time. Yeah. You can't play on your account online, I guess? I Cause... could. But, like, then we have to... How Log do I... out. Yeah, how does that... Can I, like, do it easy... Is there a way to switch accounts quickly or no? I don't think so. Punch, kick, slash... Very slash. Very slash. Dust. Yep. Dash is R2. R2. Only cancel the L2. Yeah, it's like first L1. <laughs> it's weird because on the controller I did the burst like manually with R1 and circle. Good call. Yeah, I didn't. I, mean, even... I would have. I would have. I would have been like. I didn't even think it. about that. Yeah, I was like, what do you mean? It's fine. It's just the fight pad that's weird. Oh wait. <laughs> Corny. Corny. Let's go. Hello, oh, professional right. lip lickers. What's good, Aiden? What's good, Aiden? How's it going? I'm a little scared of his uh, soul. Soul's gonna get in your hole? Oh, he's playing soul. Oh, shit. I'm a little... I, I'm... Maybe my Pokemon will uh, be uh, better than my chip. Dual one. Let's rock. It's going good. How about you both? Uh, it's pretty good. Today, uh, I'm feeling a lot better with the fight stick. Alrighty, so. Soul is eight. <laughs> How the fuck do you type while fighting? <laughs> Dude, he's got the keyboard attachment to his PlayStation. <laughs> he's using, dude. Remember, he's using the pad. Yes, touchpad, you're right. Yeah, he's using the touchpad on the keyboard. That's... This is bad news, there. That's what you call a bad burst. And now I don't have any burst for this round. Oh shit! I didn't even realize burst carries over. Yep. I didn't even realize it. You know what I also realized the other day is that when I pound on you with ram, your like caution gauge goes up or whatever. Yeah. As you block it, so even if I'm pounding into you and chipping you, like if it gets to max, then the next attack is gonna be like a big counter or whatever. If I land the next attack, well, it's full. Uh, what did you guys do today? Uh, I went to work. Chris had a big day. Yeah. I'm engaged now, boys. Chris got engaged. Three seconds. Oh, fuck. There you go. Oh! Got him with the delayed super. I thought he, I thought I'm hanging with just typing congrats while in the middle mid battle. <laughs> oh, shit. Way congrats, Chris. Oh, thank you, thank you. Things are going really well. So. I drink to that. Fuck yeah. Abby. Fuck yeah. <laughs> How did I, Abby, was Abby in here the whole time? She's just waiting for you to announce Say, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have Abby. She's now in the chat. Abby has that drink to that. Abby has that drink to No! No, 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 no! Damn, the big punch. Pathetic. Thanks, Hangin'. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's an exciting moment. Getting married next year, bro. Dual one. Let's no, I just got here. Wow, you got here literally right as I mentioned it. Holy shit. How the fuck do I... 
You know, technically we could uh, two player with the fight stick. Now, oh, man. That would actually be uh, like any time you wanted me to do your ultra for you, because the person the inputs are easier. <laughs> no! Oh, I got it! Oh, him. nice! My day was good, actually. I made more brownies, went fishing, and went on a date with the missus. Nice, dude. That sounds like a hella good day. No! Please! Give me some sympathy! <laughs> Oh, okay, good. I got, got him. him! Oh my god, him. I thought he killed me, and I was like, nah! What'd you do for your date, Aiden? What'd you do for your date? No! Wow, that fucking dash back fucking grab. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the tut tut. Nice. Oh, I like that. You're you're uh <laughs> Okay. Took her to a show and then went to an Italian restaurant. Got him. Yeah. Nice! Good shit, Chris. You won. Whoa! Dude. What do you mean? What kind of show? Yeah, what kind of show? Like a music show? Yeah. Ooh, an Italian restaurant, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah Italian sounds real good right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, man. A lot of food. Okay, I see you, big fella. <laughs> Maybe maybe, I, maybe my chip got better after I, I like was mindlessly playing you fucking for like 40 rounds yesterday or whatever. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, Chris, you just gotta you just gotta dedicate yourself to a little training mode. It makes a huge difference. And uh just learn left and combos and you're good. Learn left and combos. I'm telling you. I mean left and one with chip. I know he did. The fuck he was the best best player with chip in the EU. Dude, he's literally like a good He's like he was like a top player in Fighter Dragon Ball Fighter Z as well. Oh really? Yeah. The boy is good at fighting games. Yeah, he really is. Oh fuck. I'm gonna fuck up. Like an opera show. That's pretty sick, dude. So it's like full Italian night. No! That is bullshit blazing! Oh man. Duel two. Let's rock. Oh fuck, that bandit bringer comes the out. Bandit bringer. Comes out so fast. 85 bucks to get in. Damn, dude. You're drowning in euros. Or pounds, right? I feel like in the anime he sounds like more normal, but in this one he like sounds bad. Or he's like sounds more evil. Fuck! Oh, fuck. Pounds, but it was all fun. I agree. Hell yeah, brother. Oh! oh that might be it. I don't know. It might be. No, you got a little bit more cream. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> No, I, I died. I just went. Oh. oh no, you're still alive. <laughs> oh. My. Oh. Oh. So close. That was close. All right, you gotta win one more. The Italians put a lot of alcohol in their food. Really? What? It, oh. Oh fuck. Mr. Wall. As do Bostonians. 
I'm got what are you saying? Are you saying we're alcoholics? I fucked that up. Oh fuck, I fucked that up so bad. Ooh. A little kick em yeah, a little mix up right there with the, the Roman cancel mix up if you will. Holy shit! Dude, you got him? Oh, fuck! Oh, what? What was that? No, is this is a grab! Oh my god. Oh! oh my god, I didn't. I thought I was gonna die from the fire thing. They have to. They live in Bastin. This is the power of a ninja. I'm from Worcester, by the way. Oh shit! Oh shit! You're from Worcester? Well, like, clearly he's on the west coast now. He's on the best coast now. The best man. coast. There was like 15% of wine in my steak. What's that? Yeah, exactly. I'm hanging. When when did uh? Well, you can type after the match, but when did uh? When did you move to California? Or I assume California, because West Coast is majority California. But you could live in Washington State as well. Go get some chowder. Dude! You boys want lobster? Some chowder? You can go grab a Sam's. Oh shit! Oh dude, I hate it. Whenever I see a, see a Roman cancel, I get scared. Dude, he's gonna give you the bandit finger. He's gonna stick his big fucking thumb in your booty hole. Oh. I want to go back to Japan. Yeah, Japan does sound pretty fun. Dude, Japan sounds pretty sick. Actually, I'm lying. I don't know if I want to go to Japan. Texas now! Oh, Texas! Okay. That's that's true. Texas is pretty big. Raugen was gonna come, but he's dead. Well, you know. Raugen... Raugen... You know, he comes back for more. He's like Ghost Man. Ah, oh, come on! I was had it. Oh, you need a mod? <laughs> well, looks like. God, no! Come on! No! So close! Yes, I'm cut! Oh, jeez. And it. Are you being forced to watch this? Press one if you are. <laughs> ah! Did I get it? Nah. Close. <laughs> I was gonna say, Abby is at least one of them that's forced to watch this. We should probably be watching the, the shopping sweep show, dude. Oh yeah, the good old fucking Dude, that dude the new version, the 2020 version is lit. Did they have a 2020 version? Yeah, re they rebooted it. Really? Yeah. I thought Abby said that they might, but No, yeah, it's already it's already happened. Oh damn. Is that me or him? Oh my god. Oh you won? I won? Nice! Time for Sam though. We need I'm cut. We need an I'm cut intro. An I'm cut intro? An I'm cut intro. He hasn't deserved. He, <laughs> he hasn't earned his intro yet. Chip is too quick, goddamn. Alright. <laughs> he hasn't earned an intro yet. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> why are you mashing? Why are you mashing, why, dude? Why are you mashing? Bangers and mash. Fucking I'm cut intro. This is bullshit blazing. That's his, that's his. I'm cut is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I give supermarket sweeps credit for the engagement. 
It was, it was like, it was a, it was a good show. Wait. So good, I had to engage. Engage. I had to, I had to engage. I had to propose. Now me and Abby can get on the show. Chris is now Chris Hansen. Oh, he's going back to Andy just for you, dude. Oh, he's going back just for me. Look at that. What a, what a nice young man. What a nice young man. They rebooted Supermarket <laughs> Sweet. Do not watch the 2020 version. It's about on par with watching the Bow Bros. Makes you want to kill yourself. Now where's my noose? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Abby would uh Abby would disagree with you, I'm cut. She Imagine thinks it's the best show of all time. Oh dude, this level is sick. It is pretty Where's sick though. Sick. Got way more personality now. Not even didn't really have any personality, but it had the nostalgia though. That's all I gotta say. Where does Uncut come up with this bullshit? You know, he's Uncut. He has all sorts of tricks up his sleeve. Oh, fuck. Now, I believe Sam can get at least one more hit. Oh, I thought that was gonna be it. Oh, there it is! Yeah, yeah. Ah! You gotta get out of the corner. Oh, fuck. When I see that shit, the ding, I'm like, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. You need to get a yell meter whenever you're like, uh, you break decibels, uh, it zooms into Sam's or my face. No. Because I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude, if I'm cut streamed, I, I would want to see what he has to see what he does. So, I would want to. We we've been asking for him to play with us for so long, and he's just fucking teasing us. He's teasing the cum out of our dicks with his big natural tits. <laughs> and it's mean. We're getting blue balls over over here. Dual one. I'm cut says he loves Guilty Gear. I don't we don't we never wants oh, to play. He never wants to play with us. Maybe he think maybe he's too good. Maybe he thinks he's a, No! He's on like the celestial floor. Damn dude, you these grabs though. Get these grabs going. See now, now you're learning about the grabs! Dude, I'm telling you, grabs are the most amazing thing in this game. Don't do it on you. No! Oh, you fucked, dude. You got burst. I'm bursting! Yep, there you go. No! Oh, no, that was, uh, that was, uh... Do a zoom in on Sam whenever the guy dances right through his face. No. <laughs> what? Some shit does just... Game back not working, dude. I think I fucked up with this, though. I was working on it earlier. Really, so. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, I am hitting the right buttons. It just looks like a different animation. My dance I'm is cut. <laughs> no, I'm cut. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, does she like rainbows and yelling and... Watching marble floors being destroyed by the jumbo real life poking pokemon looking Americans who need extra oxygens to move and whose ankles are continuously bleeding. Welcome to Supermarket Sweep. Chris, I need the I need the salty. Oh, you need the salty run back? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, I'll give you salty run back. Oh my god. Don't you dare touch me ever again, young man. Because I like it secretly. Oh! I tried to grab him. No, perfect. 
Absurd. I'm cow. Dude, the gloves are coming off right uh, now. Yeah, people are people are getting feisty. I'm to see the supermarket sweep even comes into the stream and gets everyone hyped up. I'm cow. I'm tough. I'm top. I was hitting. Oh, it's because I don't have my fucking burst. I'm, I'm a word that I shouldn't say. Um. Yeah, you did mention that you have to keep track of all meters, man. You are focusing on, uh, not meters. I'm focusing on being bad, is what I'm focusing on. Dude, look at this. Look at the, the beads so, of sweat that are just piling up on this glass right now. Yeah, there's a lot of sweat. Can you guys see it? I'm telling you, the fucking thing doesn't work. It doesn't work anymore? I, I think I fucked it up earlier today. I was fucking around with stuff. I don't know if they can see yeah, it. you guys won't be able to see it, dude. But it's it's getting it's getting grody. Every time I play, I have to wipe off the. Wait, the, hold on. I can be in, I, can be in, I, can be in, I already wiped it off though. Well, hold on. All right, you're gonna get the salty run back. Uh. Oh shit! How do I how do I zoom out? There we go. Does this work now? No. Is it because I. All right, let's switch up while Chris is messing. Yeah, yeah, switch it up while I uh, fix this real quick. Little did Chris know I was messing up his controls. I think it's working. Oh, maybe I have to like log in on, uh, on Twitch or something. Twitch these nuts. Twitch, Twitch.tv if you know. Did you uh, switch everything? Yeah, it should be good. Twitch.tv slash nutsack. Don't look that up. What? Oh, this should be the last set because it's 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah. We're actually going to do love talk tonight, guys. Don't worry. I know it's what you all wanted. Especially. Uh, I'm, I'm cuts. Yeah, he, I'm cuts. Been, <laughs> he's been fucking writing formal complaints to Twitch.tv staff, literally saying, "I my favorite streamer isn't doing what I tell them, and I'm getting very upset." <laughs> no one wants to see me stream. Hey, what are you talking about, I'm cut? I'm cut. We'd watch you stream, and then we'd do the same thing you do to us. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's playing your... Is, aren't they brothers, Anji and Chip? Ooh. I thought they were. They had, like, some sort of, uh... Let's start here. Oh, uh, he really wants us to look at this. Is butt sex on first date a red flag? <laughs> I kind of want to read that. That one. is good. What do I do? Alright, that's what I do. Now you know how it feels to have the pressure. Ooh, but you have those... You have those priority hits right there, boy. Uh -oh. I, got, I got burst. I can't burst. Burst on me, daddy. I wish I could use two of my attention bars to get out of something, but I can't. Yeah, once you're in the air, dude, you're done. It's like real life. <laughs> what? It's true! Once you're in the air in real life? Yeah, like, if you get knocked in the air... Your trajectory, like you can't do anything to control yourself. You can't fucking air jump. You can't, you can't alter your physics. Chris is white. Sam is orange. What? What are you talking about? Are you, are you saying that I'm, uh, I'm a good old-fashioned Donald Trump? <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? What the fuck? I went behind you and everything. This is where I get. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, see? Oh, you're in the oh. air, dude. Ah! <laughs> yes, Mr. Trump. Oh, God. Ugh. You know I don't like that. He's Trump Jr. and Sam oh, supports the troops. <laughs> <laughs> you can yellow Roman can- Even when you're getting hit, you can yellow Ro Roman cancel? I thought you, you you can only yellow roam and cancel if, if you're, you're blocking. blocking. Yeah. 
Oh, on block. Yeah, yeah on block. okay. Okay, okay. So if you're in the air, then no. If you're getting, like, juggled, then no. Wait, Sam Trump, if you... Wait, Sam Trump, if you want to be Donald Trump, you have to fuck your own daughter. No problem, dude, I'm going to Japan. It's legal there. It's legal there, boys. Damn, I, did, I, I should not use my, uh, I shouldn't use my burst to get Peter, because I... Uh, right now I'm paying the ultimate fucking price for it. Ha! Ha ha! No! She's a big fan of you, dude. At least you can, like, you have the triple jump so you can get away the fuck away from the butterflies. No! Well, you know, when you're, uh... GET AWAY FROM ME! Oh, fuck, this ain't good. In fact, this could be the exact opposite of good. When you're an international billionaire pedophile, you know, you gotta you gotta do what's what what's right. You gotta you gotta do your things legally by going to other other countries, you know? It's also legal in the US as long as she doesn't escape your dungeon. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, I used my spin thing. That's it. Did you guys know that uh, Bill Belichick has a, a sex dungeon that he uses on his uh, players? If uh, if you play bad during a game, then uh, then you get uh, you get put in the sex dungeon and for training week. <laughs> and Bill Bill Belichick just puts a ball gag on you and does terrible things to your butthole. I'm Cut's profile picture. Hmm. Oh my God! I'm Cut has a massive nose. Oh! Oh! There we go. I, I'm Cut has a, a schnoz, a big old schnoz. God says arugula. You won't see that coming. Oh. I can't. Rogan is back. Rogan is back. I heard the Patriots played bad when Tom Brady was on their team. They had to watch the Bow Bros streams. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady had to watch the Bow Bros. No, Tom Brady made his teammates watch the Bow Bros, Bow Bros stream if they played bad. Oh, that's good. Alright, boys, you know what it is. <laughs> please Tom please don't make us watch it again it's so bad I can't do it again I got I gotta get out of there I really gotta get out of this fuck hey Rogan, uh Chris finally proposed I finally proposed and uh I guess what Abby said nope nope <laughs> No, no uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch Love Talk now. <laughs> Bill Belichick. <laughs> Bill Belichick with his fucking grumpy face. I'm afraid you have to watch uh, Love Talk now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I, I, I fucked up. Oh, oh, the counter, dude. Rog, where the hell have you been? He just wasn't here last stream. <laughs> he was gone for one stream. Rogan! <laughs> Chris used the lollipop ring? Oh, yeah, you yeah, bet. Yeah, you oh, bet. For straight, from, <laughs> straight from the fucking video. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, man. GG's, dude. That was... That was hella fun. Woo! Yeah. I think I'm certain I belong in... Eight. At least eight. I don't go... I don't belong in, uh, seven anymore. You think so? No, I... Yes, I, I think I... I 
don't belong in seven, dude. I belong in eight. I don't know about that. Well, we'll find out. Uh, are you gonna fight random uh, people in the park? No, we're gonna do love talk. Oh yeah, we're doing love talk. Like dingus. Yeah, you're right. Um. All right, man. Good games. Good games. Thanks for uh, thanks for playing with us, man. That was hella fun. That was fun. That was a good time. <clears throat> now we're doing uh, Uncut's favorite. The best thing that happened to Chris. <laughs> I'm here for the love talk. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let me turn this off. You turn that off. Uh, I turn this on. Love talk, baby. Love talk. Love talk. Been love. made for eight years, huh? I'm hanging. He's here for the love talk. He's here for the love talk, baby. All right, everyone. Get your news. <laughs> the noose is loose, baby. Did you watch the links from last week? He's watching, uh... Any music happening? Is it playing on a different device? Oh, wait, wait, this uh, is off. Ah. There we go. Ooh, is this new? Yeah, it's a new one. Lovesick. Lovesick, you know? Ooh, this is this this is this is instilling some emotions. This is like how I feel when I miss my girlfriend. <laughs> Proposing to your girlfriend is a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta make sure we got the uh, the right thing. Huh? Don't ask me. Oh yeah, the pee in the tub, of course, from I'm Cut. You gotta get ready for what? Gotta love. have the black chocobo, gotta have the piss in the tub. How do you zoom in on this? Is this thing Full on? Full control. Is this thing on? We'll find out. Oh, is it dead? Is it dead? Has it just, was it just left on? It was left on, probably, yeah. Ah, oh, shit, dude. It's dead. Well, whose fault is that? <laughs> Don't we have, uh... Double A's? The triple. That, lo that looks like a tri triple. I don't know if we have triples. Well, I gotta go upstairs anyways and put on my glasses. Look at this fucking nerd. Can you believe him? What? What's up or WeChat is fine, Aiden, too. Ragan, hmm, I'll see if they'll create a Twitch account. Ooh. Come on, guys, I gotta, I gotta get, you know, this waterproof keyboard, uh, battery's died. Battery is not included. WhatsApp or WeChat? It's fine, too, Raiden. Ah, oh, Jesus, I just realized. It, that it's been 45 minutes since we've seen your fucking frap, Sam. Well, now you get to see it again. It's finished. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. You know what I put in my smoothie? Two cups of mixed berries, one whole banana, two scoops of protein powder, a cup of of non-fat Greek vanilla yogurt and uh, that's it the blend oh yeah and a uh, tablespoon of lemon juice grind that shit up let's go baby fuel your body what flavor is it it's uh I use the vanilla protein I I also wow Jesus just eat sugar then, Sam. Oh my god. Fruit has a lot of fiber in it, man. It's good sugar. Two girls, one cup made me cry.
Tomorrow is, uh, oh yeah, that's another thing, guys. Tomorrow, uh, Ryan's gonna be streaming with, uh, Chris. Because I don't know what time I'm gonna be home tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we have a company event. It's a, um, what is it? It's a employee appreciation day tomorrow. So since I'm like part of the leadership team at work, uh, I, uh, I have to stay and host, help host the event and like serve food and stuff like that. We're doing a big picnic and we have a dunk tank with yours truly is gonna be sitting on the platform for the dunk tank and all my employees get to throw shit at me and knock me off into the water. Ryan is going to be here? Well, your viewership numbers will be higher then. Sam the butler! Yeah, no, I'm serving food and uh, chit-chatting with people and I have to help with like setting stuff up and cleaning stuff up. So, it's a big company party. It's weird, because it's on a Tuesday, not a Friday. But, I mean, at least I only have to, well, I don't really have to work half a day. I have to work longer because I have to be there for, for first and second shift. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Weird Tacos. We just finished playing Guilty Gear. I'm getting better with the, uh, with the stick. It's starting to feel more normal. Uh, but I still suck big donkey wiener. Uh, actually, speaking of which, can you guys, uh, Raugen, can you switch it back to the, uh, hot tubs category? That would be fantastic. If we could switch it to the hot tubs category. How's your, uh, how's your Monday, tacos? We tried streaming in the Guilty Gear section today, but, uh, didn't really, didn't really have a whole lot of, whole lot of results. We thought maybe we'd get some more people interested in Guilty Gear. It's been good. Just got off work. Nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. Chris is getting his glasses, and uh, he's also um, getting batteries for the wireless keyboard because uh, doesn't have. Uh, it ran out of batteries. What? Are the batteries the right way? Yeah. Well, come on. Try slamming it on any surface you can find. New Duracell batteries. New Duracell batteries. New Duracell batteries. Weird. Oh, now let's zoom in. It's okay. We don't even really need that. Uh... Yeah, I guess we can't type today, though. We can't type today? Oh, that's good. The thing fell again. That's... That's always good. Maybe the dead batteries that I put in. Yeah, I was gonna say. They can't have a new box, so I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. That would be maybe, weird. Maybe the... Maybe the thing is gone. <clears throat> I feel like the guilt... The streaming in the Guilty Gear section would be hard to get views because there's a larger variety of streamers playing, including some pros. Yeah, true. Yeah. Also, I don't think the Guilty Gear, like, section has that much people. Like, it's not, it's not a super popular category, because unfortunately, fighting games, for some reason, don't really attract a whole lot of people. Uh, I think, I'm starting to think that fighting games are, like, one of my favorite types of competitive games. Pretty sick. Because the one-on-one -on -one aspect is uh, just too good. Fighting games are lit, dude. They're pretty lit. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing organizing a tournament, a local. Chris is gonna organize a local, baby. There's around 6k people watching Guilty Gear right now. Yeah, I wonder how many of those people though are watching just like the top 10. Yeah. Probably the majority of people are just watching the top 10. The thing about like 
games like Guilty Gear is like people mostly watch it for, you know, to get good or want to watch people that just kick ass. They're not really looking for people to like, you know, hang out with or talk to. I mean, it helps if you're good and you're personable. Dude, I, we're, we're good and we're personable. Maybe. Does this, does this work yet? Oh, well, you know, a lot of things are broken today, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna power through it. <clears throat> All right, guys. So I made this post. Oh wow! It got since I upvoted, it got downvoted. It got downvoted. Uh, so maybe not the best post of my life. Oh god, here we go. I love employee appreciation days. I always get dressed nice and tidy. That. I always get nice and dressed and tidy that day, and then go get myself an office cactus. Why a cactus? Because they require little, wa little, little water and light. Anyways, at the dinner, at the dinner is when all the employees stare at me in my nice suit. I then drop my pants and shove that cactus up my ass. Cause screw employee appreciation, Dad. Then use the blood as food coloring for the punch. Is that what I should do? I've cut. Is that what I should do tomorrow? Oh, oh poison water! I haven't seen poison water in a hot minute. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think employee appreciation day is a little bullshit, but you know, is what it is. Do you always appreciate your employees? Well, I mean, it's just bullshit because the company doesn't. I mean, I do appreciate my employees, but like instead of spending money on an event. They're probably like, why don't they just give us more money? They'd probably like it more if they all just... They took the money for the event and just split it between everybody and gave them, like, a little bonus. Probably, honestly. They'd probably like that more than getting free food and... Well, I guess they are getting paid for it, so that's not that bad. No, Sam, keep streaming. The people at Guantanamo Bay need to see <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is a post Chris made. Uh, and we're gonna re respond to the comments. Yeah, it's actually kind of a, it's kind of a true, so, somewhat true about me from uh, five years ago when I said I, a 25 year old male, six years ago, wait, is it five or six? Five years ago. Five years ago. Oh, wow, you're old. Yeah, dude. Anyways, we're gonna see what the comments have to say about this. It may not be the best thing I've ever crafted in my life, so bear with me if there's any freaking problems with this. I will definitely pick it apart. Alright guys, here we go. Just started dating again, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing! What the hell? <clears throat> I, a 25 year old male, broke up with my girlfriend of three years, two months ago, and trying to get back into dating. I'm not gonna make this a goddamn storybook, so I'll keep it short. We're not a couple dates that seem to go well. Both of us laughed, shared experiences, and we hugged. Big play. <laughs> At the end of the day. But nothing really happens after that. It just seems dates fizzle out. I'll say all my dates have come from online dating, and it really feels lonely after each date. Walking back to my car wondering if I'll actually see the person again. Here's what I'm trying to say is, what do you tell someone who's getting back into dating that hasn't done anything with dating in three years? I'm a nerd, so I enjoy time. Ugh, enjoy my time at home and mostly why I just use online dating. What are important things to keep in mind during the date? <laughs> just started dating again and don't know what the hell I'm doing. Is this a red flag? Am I a red flag? Why is this cactus <laughs> up my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm cut should just make a, a post. Just a nice We should we should do it we should do a love talk session where uh, people in chat post and we try and guess which ones are <laughs> <laughs> which ones are who. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Alright, let's see what people have to say. What do you think's uh what do you think's uh do you think people are gonna give good advice on this, Sam? Maybe. I'm down. We actually could. Don't we have a Reddit? Do we have a Reddit? A subreddit for our stream? I don't. 
I don't think so. I don't know if we created one. But that's actually not a bad idea to make a Bo Bros like love talk subreddit and advertise it on the stream as a place that you can like make posts about questions you have. Okay. And then we could go over them during love talk. And then figure out who it is. <laughs> I mean, it could be anonymous, but yeah, we could figure out who it is because I'm kind of would obviously be posting there. <laughs> 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 it's having butt sex on the first day a red flag I'm uh, kind of really we'll, we'll go we'll look at that one after this yeah we'll look at that one after this all right all right first guy tumble squids he's got a fat vegeta as his isn't it the oni place it's the oni vegeta yeah that's good everything fizzles out if you let it be assertive tell people what you want when you want it ask them the same be direct don't want communication to die then be responsible be the responsible party and try to keep it alive if no response after 20 uh, 24 hours dump and move on i've been out of the game for four years and time away from dating hasn't changed my approach of quality communication so just communicate more be a better friend call your mom reach out to that cousin you haven't spoken to in years practice talking to people in public have fun true man that was Very good true. that was good Let's go. I want love now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually really good advice. Like, and he probably means like dump and move on. He probably means just like if she's not responding to you within the time that you want her to, then just like don't let that stop you from talking to other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if she does eventually respond to you, you can keep talking to her, obviously. Yeah. I like the idea of a subreddit. I've been needing a place to post photos of my bowel movements. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of I'm cut photos. <laughs> I want to see I'm cut selfies on our, on our subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy, I, this is this is solid. Yeah, I give him an upvote. Okay, let's give him a, a solid upvote. Okay. After the date, once you're back home, ask for a second date. Don't ask for a second date when you're together unless you know it's a slam dunk. Definitely be upfront about what kind of relationship you're looking for before you meet up for the first date. Make sure you're both looking for the same thing. And honestly, try to cut through the getting to know you stuff online first so that you can dive directly into the meaningful conversation that makes your relationship tick. You can always backtrack to learn about each other's siblings and pets but you have that meaningful debate about Battlestar Galactica if you're if you're bored after discussing Great Aunt Millie's scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I just met you guys yesterday, but I saw your YouTube videos and I love your Reddit segments. Oh shit. Oh shit, really? Thank you, Clippy. Nice. Thank you. Thanks, Clippy. I appreciate it. I don't know, Love Talk got a little stale because we did it like every stream for a while. But uh, now we're going back to it, because people, uh, people unironically were like, yeah, we want to hear Love Talk again, so. <laughs> unironically, especially on cut. Yeah. But yeah, I honestly think that if we could get the community to post somewhere and we could review, like if people had a place to like put down, like thought out, like not on the spot because a lot of times we ask people like yeah if you have any questions ask in chat or whatever yeah if people like were able to preemptively think about their problem and post it somewhere then we could like review it on stream that is uh it is on the discord there is a love talk session there is a love talk session on the discord you're right but i mean i guess we still could do a bow bros thing too maybe maybe that's more uh easier for people yeah because then they could do it anonymously yeah like, we, they wouldn't have to join our community, and maybe if we reviewed their topic on stream, they that would push them to watch us more and join the community and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Clippy already uh, posting the social. A Bo Bros podcast? <laughs> oh, man. That's That would be a lot, because uh, we already stream. Yeah, we stream... We do stream five days or four days a week, sometimes five or six. Yeah. No, we stream five. Oh yeah, we stream five days a week. And then sometimes, sometimes six, six or, or seven. seven. Broadcast broing out. Yeah. Podcasts are podcasts are difficult. Our I mean the YouTube videos are kind of like 
mini podcast episodes where I mean, we I just guess talk. It, yeah, I guess it's just this. Yeah. But it's like kind of like cutting out all the fluff when we like intersect and talk to chat. Yeah. It's just cutting to the, the points. Yeah, cutting to the points, yeah. Damn, dude, and Erling, and Erling just knows it. Um, did we say anything about this guy? Um, no, we didn't say anything about it. I agree with his, uh, his uh, talking about, like, try to cut through the getting to know you stuff online so you can dive directly into the meaningful conversation that yeah. makes a relationship tick. I think that's huge. Yeah. Like, you'll fizzle out if you just continue to talk online and be like, I like you. Oh, yeah, dude. You seem cool. You definitely start to become a pen pal. Yeah, you just become a pen pal, and then it's, and then it, nobody likes that. She's not excited, you're not excited, the things don't go anywhere, and then she just finds a Chad to fuck, and then you're done. <laughs> you can call them, you can call them bro jobs. Oh! That's actually really good. Bro cast, broing out, you can call them bro jobs. That's good. Let's go. I like that actually a lot. Holy shit, I'm gonna... How do I do this? Don't, don't Google that, kids. What do you mean? Bro jobs. Or do we get horrified? <laughs> or get horny. Yep, alright. Uh, I gotta put this somewhere. Because I know we're gonna have to... Have to, you know what? I'll go with uh, uncut quotes because you know, fuck it. Bro jobs, baby. All right, yeah, no, I, th I think that's, I think that's good. I think that's good advice. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about the asking for a second date part when you get home. Yeah. I feel like it's better to do it in person. Um, like at least attempt to be like. If you really like yeah, the girl, I think yeah, I think I think asking for a second date while while you're together, I think that's fine. Uh, and also it lets them be like, uh, no, if they really did want to feel like, yeah. Uh, and but you, yeah, and he does ask. He does say, don't ask it. Like, well, I guess don't. Unless ask. you know it's a slam dunk. Oh uh, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a slam dunk, but I mean, it if it was like a solid good date, I mean, yeah, you could still be like, hey. If you enjoyed their company, then you can say, yo. Yeah, we should do this again. Yeah. Or you can be like, so when are we uh, doing this again? Yeah. How do you transition from pen pal to IRL? Because IRL, he seems distant and uninterested, and I am shy and in my shell. I want to start a stream with my friend now. We could be the Thai guys. <laughs> 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 oh shit! That would be sick tacos, and, and then we could collab, collab together. That'd be sick. Yeah. Bow ties versus uh, tie guys. Yeah. Bow bro versus tie guys. Yeah. How do you transition from pen pal to in real life? Um. So the thing is, is that when you, it's different depending on the situation. So if you, if you're using a dating app and you match with somebody on a dating app, and you start talking with conversation like right off the bat there's like a couple things that you need to do like you should try to avoid small talk at all costs and instead resort to things like uh like role playing is really good yeah like make up like even though it might sound crazy uh you can make up like scenarios with the girl and kind of role play back and forth via text like Oh, we're gonna go rob a bank in Morocco, and we're gonna, like, you know, steal all this money, and, like, oh, what would you do in this scenario? Like, what would you do if the cop showed up? And it, like, gets a little bit of both of your personalities to kind of, like, jump in and create a narrative together, and that brings you closer together. Pro tip, once you create a narrative together, you can make a reference to that narrative while you're on your first date, and it will... May help you guys feel more comfortable together. Yeah, it's like a little inside joke that you create between yourselves. Yeah, and it's showing that you pay attention to the details of your conversations with her. So it's showing like that you care. Yeah. And that's really important, obviously. Like people, especially if you're just on a first date or whatever, people are like, oh shit, he remembered. Uh, so that's definitely gonna get you brownie points. Um, Role playing. Uh, there's also assumptions, which are kind of a little bit harder because you don't want to offend anybody. 
but you can assume things about them, about them, uh, and if you're wrong, then they'll say, oh, you're wrong, and they'll tell you why, and then you learn something about them. Yeah. And if you're right, then it's just like, oh, shit, see, I can read the future, or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like, Play it off as, like, a funny joke. Yeah. Just don't assume anything that's, like, obviously offensive. Yeah. Or, like, could be hurtful or whatever. Like, just try, like try and keep your assumptions safe. Yeah. In the safe zone. Like, yeah. Like, assume, like, uh, maybe, like, what their career is or something like that. That's always a good one. Like, if they have a certain look. Like, let's say they, have, they like, wear, like, the glasses or whatever. You can be like, oh, are you a librarian? And then when she says, like, oh, why do, would you think that? And you, ha you have to have a reason for it. Yeah, because they're always going to ask, why would you think that? Yeah, why would you think that? So you can't just be like, uh, 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 uh. So that one's a little, that one's a little bit more puts you on the spot. Um, there's a few other ones. I don't know if I can think of them off the top of my head. Yeah, but I mean, like, the most important thing from, like, going from pen powder in your life, literally just try to, act, like, ask them out on a date. You know what I mean? Like, if you really want to go out with a person, yeah. so just be like, hey, instead of talking to him, like, let's go out. Yeah. If you have, yeah, if, but you can't do that right away. But Not right away, but, like, once you have a little bit of conversation with them, then you can, uh, let's go rob that bank. Yeah, See, exactly, and that, and bring yeah. bring the reference, yep. Yeah, bring the reference with you, exactly. Um. <laughs> you wanna get out of here and just go rob that bank? Then? No. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of, sick of this small talk. Let's go rob a bank, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what do you fuck. mean by that? I want to grab a drink with you. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah. So it's like, yeah, you you literally just have to be a little bit more assertive, is all. And like this, like the previous guy said, like if you don't get a response or like things don't go your way, like let's say she doesn't want to go out with you, like don't waste your time on one person, continuing to text them over and over again. Because a lot of people just will want the safety of just having a pen pal. It's like free attention. Yeah. And, I mean, everybody has different preferences. But if your preference is to not just have a fucking pen pal that you chat with for two weeks before you can see them, then don't don't feel bad about just being like, all right, later. If you want to text me back, then whatever. But I'm going to focus my energy on something else that will actually yield me results that I want. Yeah. So. Alright, let's see. Well, specifically for you, probably looking for somebody else who's also a homebody might be necessary. Unless if you're just incredibly attractive or rich. or some other attribute that makes you really stand out. Huh. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's not it's not necessarily true that you that uh, you don't necessarily need the, like the same exact type of person that you are. Sometimes like having an opposite person uh, helps you out a lot, like get you to do things that you didn't know you enjoyed doing. It. Yeah. You find out new things, and you're like, oh shit, I actually kind of like doing this, and it like you know makes your life a little bit more interesting because. Uh, if you're a homebody and then like every once in a while ooh. hey oh. my name is Anna underscore toast three and I have had exactly zero sex partners oh, oh. Shit. Welcome, welcome Anna toast welcome welcome that's my question is how do I become more comfortable and outgoing in real life like I am through text and online practice yeah, you really, honestly, it's all about fucking up in real life. Yeah. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna be bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I have, uh, created word vomit one too many times. I put myself in uncomfortable situations, and I just, uh, fucked up saying stuff, or, like, laughed, or blushed, or, like, fucking turned around and been like, all right, let me start over, and then fucking started over. I've fucked up a lot of approaches and that's just how how it works like you just have to get used to fucking up and it's like riding a bicycle like if i were to be single tomorrow and i went back out there 
I would have to come to the realization of being like, all right, Sam, you're gonna fucking suck at this for a while, but then eventually it's gonna become normal again to approach people and to talk to random strangers and to be able to have like out of the blue conversations with random people you find attractive. Yeah. It's just like riding a bike. Like you, once you get good at it, it just becomes natural. And the only way you can uh, you can get better at it is really just faking it till you make it, man. Yeah, you just kind of yeah have to just have a lot of conversations. Yeah, and it's okay if it takes you a while to get to that point. Like if you go out in public and you try to like think of something to say to somebody that you see in public that might be attractive or whatever to approach them, or even just having normal conversations with people. Even if you have to think about like topics in your head before you go over there or whatever, or like pump yourself up, like I'm gonna do it, 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 and then you just walk over and do it. Like, it's not uh, anything to be ashamed about. Oh, Ooh, the I penny, the penny, the penny toss. Yeah. It's really, uh, un unfortunately, like, yeah, a lot of people think there's gonna be, like, a trick to it. Yeah, there's no, there's no, like, you know, silver bullet out there yeah. to be like, how do I just magically know how to, you know, yeah. talk to a girl in real life Yeah. instantly. There's no, no, you're gonna fuck up. You know, something that's interesting is I went through a similar process recently that's like a, like a social learning thing where... I, uh, I had an inter- I had not interviewed for a very long time. I hadn't, like, been in a position where I was used to interviewing with companies because I started looking for a new job, and I definitely did a handful of interviews where I, like, fucked up or I said the wrong thing and I panicked and I, like, you know, I, it just- the interview didn't go well. But it's because I hadn't done it in so long. And it's just like a social skill that I kind of got rusty at. And as I started to do more interviews in the process of trying to find a new job, it like slowly became easier and easier. But I definitely didn't do super well at first. It's like Sam using a fight stick. Yeah, it's like me using a fight stick. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get bad before you get good. Yeah, that's true. Gotta get bad before you get good. Um, I remember I was saying something about this, and then uh, I, I forgot. I think you're just reading it. No, I no, I said I was talking about it though. Oh yeah, we were talking about how he was wrong about being incredibly attractive or rich or some other attribute that makes you stand out. I think you were saying like you have to make yourself stand out. Oh no, no, I was talking about the homebody thing. Where you can't wait. You don't have, it doesn't necessarily have to be a person that's. Oh possible. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say that like me and my uh, girlfriend, we are very opposite of each other. Very, extremely opposite of each other. Yeah, it's funny I say that, but me, and my, my, uh, me and my, uh, fiance, uh, we're saying that now. I know, right? <laughs> I don't, I don't even say it all the time. I'm like, I don't know. It just feels like I don't, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're both homebodies, but yeah, it, it definitely can go the other way, though. You can definitely have, like, a more outgoing person. Yeah. My girlfriend never fucking, or my fiancé never played a fucking video game in her whole life until she met me. I thought she played Age of Empires. She told me she did. Yeah. But come on, really? I know. Did she really play? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, here we go. To the two, the two pennies. The two pennies. A penny for your troubles. Whenever you say fiance, you get a penny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, uh, unless you... Yeah, I think that's just like a shallow thing. Shallow take. thing, yeah. I mean, you could... You could have literally just took this last part out, and then it's like the same thing. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you don't... If you're focusing on like this stuff and it's just a shallow person, you're probably not gonna like the person. Yeah. They're just going after that stuff. Yeah. Cause that's the thing is like, yeah, technically it's like easy mode if you're rich or like you look like a model. Uh, and uh, like people will be like generally, you'll get a lot more attention, right? 
if you like look really good or people know that you're like famous or you have a lot of money or whatever yeah but like how genuine are those people gonna be if you attract like everybody yeah they're not yeah they're not gonna attract genuine people yeah that's why actually people who are like you know famous or whatever they only date famous people because they like understand and they know that at least those people aren't gonna be just like trying to date them because of their money or status yeah yeah I love love talk. It gives me a chance to poop without knowing that I missed anything important. <laughs> the joke is that you guys stream something that is important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's see. The last one. Practice. Keep talking to women. Every failed date is a learning experience. Eventually, you will learn, and then poof, new girlfriend. Yeah. That's kind of like what we're... Yeah, that's kind of exactly what we're saying. It's all about practicing. About talking. About doing things in a... You know, having uncomfortable conversations with people that you don't know. Yeah. And eventually it becomes normal conversation. Alright, so overall it was, you know, pretty, uh, pretty good. This guy had nailed it, and that's probably why he's up at the top. Alright, where's that fucking I'm Cut one that you wanted? Yeah, I'm Cut, where is it? Oh, jeez. It's in the it's in chat somewhere. Uh, you think I can uh, get to it? Yeah, I think so. No. Oh, oh. No. No. There it is. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Where the fuck is my mouse? Why is it, like, white? Because it's old Reddit. Oh. I can't even see my mouse because it's... Oh, uh, there it is. Yeah, you're on it now. Why is it old Reddit? Oh, fuck. You have to use your keyboard. Oh, wait, no, you can... You can... It's in the settings button. Yeah, click. It's to the right of your face. Yeah, there you go. And then there's at near the top. There's a zoom. And hit the plus. There you go. Oh, a little bit too much. Is butt sex on the first date a red flag? There you go. Turn it in dark mode. All right. Uh, go back to down on chat. <laughs> Why is it old Reddit? Who the hell uses new Reddit? Damn, dude. I didn't know. I didn't know. Is this know. old Reddit or new Reddit? Oh, this no, is this old. is old. This is old Reddit. It says get new Reddit up in the top left. So, Uncut uses old Reddit. He uses old Reddit, I guess. I, I just never really thought anything of it. Me either. Alright. Uh, I, 22 female, went on a Tinder date with this guy, 29 male, and we clicked very well. But given the large age difference, I was hesitant to do anything serious too early on. On our second date, we had sex. When he was fingering me, he stuck his finger in my asshole, and I was surprised by it, but I also didn't mind. Then, when we were having sex, he was brushing his dick against my asshole, as though he wanted to do anal. And I was also surprised, but ultimately I let him fuck my ass. Hey, my name is Kyber Guitar, and I have had exactly zero sex partners. Nice! nice. Welcome, Kyber. Welcome to the Bow Bros. We're talking about love, dating, and relationships. We're, uh, we're on uh, I'm Cut's uh, topic right now. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, let him fuck my ass. He never explicitly asked me if that would be okay, but I basically agreed to it with my actions. He also came in my ass without asking. Later, in talking with my friends, they were all shocked to hear that he tried this on the first time we had sex and our second time meeting each other, especially given the age difference. My friend was actually shocked when I told her what happened and said it was a sign he lacked respect for me. Is this a red flag, or is this something fairly common doesn't indicate negative traits? I mean, you gotta kinda communicate that. So, to be honest, maybe this guy is just a really big fan of anal. Maybe he just really likes anal stuff, and he was, like, testing the waters, and she was 
accepting of his advances. Like, it seems like she didn't mind what he did. Yeah. But she's just self-conscious about it being, like, a bad thing. Oh, yeah. So she, yeah, yeah. So she's, like, thinking, oh, shit. Is it, like, uh, like, um, I guess, like, slutty or whatnot to have, to have anal sex on the first date? Yeah, I think... And her friends are probably just trying to, like, say, like, uh... They see it as, like, a negative thing in a way that it's, like, kind of, like, slut-shaming kind of thing. If oh. you read down more... Oh, God. Where? She said she didn't like it. Yeah, I mean... Oh, in the comments. Oh. You had unprotected anal sex with a random from Tinder and you were worried about negative traits. Be worried about STIS first and go get yourself tested. Then talk to him. Not Reddit, what about your what your boundaries has. Yeah, uh, I also... I, I agree with the first comment. So, first of all, there are far too many people that have sex on Tinder and they don't use protection yeah which is pretty crazy to me because you're just fucking random people also having anal sex and coming in her ass is uh that's not, really not, really uh risky not a good idea yeah so here's the main thing is that over just from the post without reading the comments or whatever uh, I don't think it's, like, wrong to want to have anal sex or, like, to do other kinky stuff, if that's what you are into. Yeah. But, like, you have to communicate that. Yeah, I definitely agree. So, like, if they're messing around and he shows that, like, if he just fucking jams his finger in her asshole, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. But if he's playing with her butt and she's accepting of it while they're doing foreplay stuff and then the same thing happens with the dick and the bum and they're already fucking normally then like as a guy for me if i was doing that with a girl and the the vibe was accepting and you know everybody's still having a good time or whatever then i wouldn't see anything wrong with it but if she's not communicating that she doesn't want that then that's a big problem I also think, like, maybe, like, uh, first time having sex, you probably should ask about, you know, shoving it up her ass, too. But I guess it's a little hard to tell. It's, it's hard, because you're fucking horny, and, like, you, I mean, I'm sh what, when you've had anal sex on, like, fucking Tinder dates or whatever, did you, like, explicitly ask every time? Yeah. You've never had a time where you're just, like, getting into it and you start doing stuff to each other that isn't explicitly communicated? And because of the, I guess, the verbal communic- It's not like saying, like, yes, but if she's moaning and continues to moan when you play with her butt. No, I, I usually ask. Okay. Sam, stop! <laughs> <laughs> But I, I don't know. I guess I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. But I, a lot of times, like, the shitty thing is, is, like, people out there that aren't going to, like, speak up because, like, they're <laughs> too, like, nervous to or, like, ashamed to, like, oh, no, I shouldn't say that because then I'm going to ruin the mood. Yeah. So it's like their anxiety kicks in, so they just let it happen anyways. Yeah. So... Yeah, and then no. they didn't want it to happen. It's, it's like a, I don't know, it's a little, sh uh, it's yeah. a fucking gray area thing. Yeah, yeah. I guess that, uh, yeah, it's, uh, to be, to be completely clear, I haven't had first date anal sex with anybody, but I, I have had it with partners that I have, like, been seeing regularly, like, sexual partners or girlfriends that I have been seeing regularly, and it was something that was, like, an escalation. And it, there, every, every time I've done, like, kinky stuff, it, there's not, like, explicitly, like, having a formal conversation beforehand and asking about it. No, it's during. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not always, like, it's not always as straightforward as, like, do you want to have anal sex? Uh, Sometimes it's, like, 
just opened up your butthole. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes she would ask. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I don't know. Or maybe we had like a previous conversation about it in the past. And then she expressed, like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, I like that kind of stuff or whatever. Yeah. And then it just happens because escalation of force. You never had first date anal sex. You're, you've never gone to a men's <laughs> retreat at a Catholic church when you, you were a kid, I see. Yeah. Well, you know... My mom was Catholic, but I got pulled out of the church too early, so I never got those experiences. Oh, good. Yeah. Dodged a bullet. Yeah. And I guess for me too, like, I've had things happen to me that I wasn't, uh... I guess I wasn't necessarily, like, expecting, but, like, if I... I guess the difference is with me is, like, if I had, um... If I didn't, if I didn't like it, then I would have said no. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. would have verbally communicated like, I uh, stop. <laughs> I don't want your finger up my butthole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The shitty thing is, there's definitely people out there that don't know how to communicate that though. I understand that, but how do we solve that problem? You can't. You, say, yeah. you can't. Yeah, you can't solve that. Problem. Yeah, because then also there are people who have like the opposite problem. I guess. If, if it were me, if if it were me, as like a guy, if I was having first sexual experiences with anybody, I'd always err on the safer side of like asking. Yeah. But if it's like a more uh, experienced partner that you've had multiple times, then I guess you can take a little bit more risk. Yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. But like, yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm not ballsy enough to fucking, you know try and put things in people's butts on the first date or like explicitly do it without verbal consent i think that's a little a little crazy but yeah yeah i yeah i, I understand that i guess yeah if it's like someone brand new i guess i'd be worried that it'd be uncomfortable for them yeah. like on a first time having fucking sex unless they were like really like all about having sex like that's that's a peanut butter, you know? Uh, I guess I've, I guess I've just, like, all the girls that I've hooked up with, I feel like are, we're just really horny. Like, like, girls that are, like, female versions of Andy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I didn't really, I don't know. A lot of the girls that I met on Tinder, they seemed, like, more aggressive than I did. I, I was. That at least I hooked up with. They ripped off Sam's clothes, and Sam's like, oh! Yeah. I was just a young little Catholic boy who's only had a priest finger in his butt. But <laughs> she gave me the whole fist. Nice. That's uh, that's how they teach you a lesson. Oh god, this is this is what are you? Is being an anti-vaxer a, a deal, deal breaker, breaker for, for you? you? Should it be one for me? First of all, don't okay. let other people <laughs> decide what should be a fucking deal breaker for yourself. Well, okay. Normally, I would say yes, Chris. But in this case, we're talking about, like, national, uh, like, almost national security. Like, this has more to do with, like, I think it should be a deal breaker for her, and I think I should be able to decide that for her. Well, yeah. We're not, we're, we're not, I mean, in general, yes. Like, traits or, yeah. or, like, all that kind of stuff. But in this specific case of vaccinations... Yes, because if you're dating somebody, inevitably you're going to be swapping saliva or sticking your dick places that they don't want it to be. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, that's not, I, that, no, that's not what I meant. I said something wrong. <laughs> I meant to say you're going to be sticking your dick in places that's going to swap fucking fluids and shit. And you might get them, uh, you might get each other sick. You're gonna, you're gonna swap shit around. So, like, if they're not vaccinated, they're a much higher risk of having COVID. And even if you are, if you are, uh, if you are vaccinated, then you could still get sick and then be, like, a carrier. And, yeah. 
all that other shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, it just seems, uh, it seems, uh, <laughs> ready to help me. What do I do? Should I pee first, then poo, or first poo, then pee? We're both at the same time. So when's guilty gear? Question of the day right here. I've got loves the guilty gear. Except you never played with us. Yeah, he never plays with us. Fucking coward. Buying gifts for a girl you practically just met? Bad move? I mean... Like... I guess it depends on... For if it's like, you know, over a month, I guess, yeah, you can buy gifts. If that's like what you enjoy doing, and if that's like the, you know, love language. I don't think it's bad, necessarily, but if they're abusing it, then it's probably gonna be, then they're probably gonna abuse it. Like a candy bar. Like a candy bar. <laughs> like a candy <laughs> bar? You were uh, in a pretty bad mood on your first date, so I brought a Snickers for a second <laughs> date. <laughs> Talking to a girl of brother's birthdays, she was upset because her family's tight on money. Uh, expecting, but I may... Spent... For some reason... $300 I... on Nintendo Switch for her to give him? What? Oh my god. Are these 15 year olds dating? I don't know, man. The fact that he is looking to buy a $300 Nintendo Switch for her, her. seems a little desperate. That seems weird as fuck. Yeah, I don't think that's a good. He just met her. Yeah. He just met her. She could fucking take the switch and run. But I mean, like, if money, if, like, he, like, makes a, a lot, lot of money, money. And, he's, and, like, $300, $300 ain't shit, as Chad Warden would say. $300, $300 ain't shit. <laughs> 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 oh, good old Chad Warden. That's referring to the candy bar comment, not gonna lie. I love at that comment. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The whole, like, gifting thing is, uh... I'm, I'm personally not, like, a big, big on gifts, but... There are people that do enjoy gifts and giving gifts, so... I don't think you should do it too early, though. It seems a little... I feel like you should do it... I feel like you should start giving gifts, like, once you know you know you're in a relationship with a person. Yeah. There's no need to give people you don't know gifts yeah. that quickly, because... To me, that's like... If I got a gift from somebody I was just dating... I mean, if it's something like... If it's something meaningful and small, that's just like, oh, that's yeah. really nice. Like something as a reference to something we talked about or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But now uh, you know. But like, if they get me something significant, I'm gonna be like, oh, well, okay, thank you. But this makes me feel uncomfortable because now it feels like I'm like forced to like you because you spent a lot of money on something for me. Yeah. And I don't want to have to have any pressure. I just want to get to know you and figure it out if I do like you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, oh shit, it's actually 10 already. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock, boys. You know what time it is. Holy shit, boys. It's, uh, you made it through, guys. You made it through Love Talk, boys. Uh, so tomorrow, Ryan's gonna be streaming with, uh, Chris. So naturally, the stream will have a higher view count. <laughs> uh, I have to help out at my company event. It's gonna be fucking great. Um... I think it's funny that you said a candy bar, which is like $2, and this guy on Reddit wants to blow $300 on a woman he doesn't know. Honestly, the only gift I would give her is a season one of the 2020 edition of the Supermarket Sweep. <laughs> oh! Bring a cactus. I do have a cactus in my room. I do like houseplants. Sam's gonna be the, the guy that people throw things at to sh get him in the tub or whatever. Yeah, I, I'll be in the cold tub at work. And Chris will be in the hot tub here. Yeah. Can we see your room? No. 
If you saw my room, then you would have an idea where my bedroom is in the house, and then you might, like, DOS us and find out where we live and get really weird about it. Then try to shove a cactus up our ass. I want to see what size heels you own. I got a couple pairs of heels in the closet. Dude, uh, that was healing, baby. It makes, it makes my leg, or it makes my calves look real nice. Put on my bow bro thong and my ball gag. <laughs> Get in my high heels, my stilettos. Yeah, Doxy guy says the guy who shows his face on stream, love it. Dude, I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? I, I, I don't even know. I just know that if you find out enough about where somebody lives, then you can fucking do a lot of bad stuff to them. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're the Bo Bros. If you guys enjoyed the stream, you can drop a, uh, a follow, a sub, or a prime sub. It would be greatly appreciated. And then, uh, what else? Oh, you know what you can do? You can tell your friends. Tell your friends about us. Interesting concept. It's a, it's a very interesting concept. Uh, it's a, a big concept that will, uh, you know... Make this tub a nice, a little bit more warmer, a little bit more sweeter. A little bit warmer, a little bit sweeter. Raugen, re give yourself points back. I'm not doing Sam Get Sussy now. It's the end of the stream. You can, you can spend it now. <laughs> what else? You can get sussy. You can spend it, <laughs> spend it next stream. What else? You can get sussy. <laughs> At least he doesn't have Cheeto dust on the floor. No, not yet. Uh, we stream from 7.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Monday, Tuesday, I mean Sunday, yeah, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Fridays and Saturdays are optional. Do it for content. Okay, all right, fine, I'll do it for content. Here we go. Here we go, Sam. Ready? Sam get sussy. Mm, yeah, get it. Come on. <laughs> Sam, but damn, this is like the extended version of Sam gets sussy. Uh. Come on. All right. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Jeez! What the fuck is that? Is that a guy falling down and can't get him up? Oh, no, he's doing the worm. Ah. Oh. The perfect outro. The perfect outro. But I think my outro button finally works now. Oh, good. Now we're gonna raid somebody. Alright, hold on, boys and girls and boys. Oh, yeah, I can do it up here now. Do it up here. So everyone can see us. Everybody can see us. Oh, fuck, dude. We don't have, uh... No. Oh, you don't have... Cause you're using fucking uh, Bing or whatever. Hold on, dude. I got an idea. You don't have it hotkeyed? Or bookmarked? No. Okay, Sam. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Plucky tubular bat amp trough punch. Alright, so there should be a, a Twitch post like right here. Fuck! It's new tubers. Small streams. Small streams? Yeah, I feel like something bad might happen. Oh, here we go. Here we go, it's Twitch. Right, so you go here? And there's gotta be a Twitch link. Search, oh, yeah. Wait, search Google for... Search the web for Twitch, the second one down. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. See? We can figure out how to do it without the keyboard. You gotta just play some diggy tricks. All right. So we go to follow. following. We go to live. live. Yeah. Oh, Moxer is playing, dude. He was. Uh, he's been MIA, dude. In in the mornings, he's been MIA. I was like, what the fuck? I can't put Moxie on in the background when I'm at work. Oh shit! Sam has bad days at work now. The gaming peanut. Oh man. All right, we got the only zero. We got uh, chilling, dude. Kerry. Guys, so much going on. Surprise, Surprise Subathon. He's playing, playing melee. melee. 
Okay. Um. He has bad days at work. Have no fear. Tomorrow he'll be appreciated. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we can do, uh, is he starting right now, or should I click and see if he's... Yeah, let's see if he's... Let's see if he's here. Let's see if Chillin' Dude's here. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's here. Look at this guy. Look at him, dude. Why is he spawning off the edge? He's practicing, I think, right? I think so. Where's his subathon thing? Oh, wait. There it is. It's a susathon. I like how you raid streamers who won't... Who only let followers comment. Really? No, he's not on follower only mode. He's not. When did I, I, wait, I think we only did that once. Oh yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, how am I gonna do this? You have to get up, Chris? Fuck! They get, they got more followers than the Bow Bros. True! Slash raid. There you go. There we go, baby. There we go. Let's go. We got four. We got four. We got six. Six. Can we get more than six? How about how about, uh, seven? But I don't follow the bobos. I can't comment them. <laughs> I don't even know if we have follower only mode on. I don't think we do. We don't. Ooh, the one penny. The one penny, baby. All right, guys. All right, boys. We're heading out now. Let's just see if this works. I think it's gonna work today, guys. Oh! oh I think it's working. <laughs> Look at this, boys. Wait a minute, Chris. Do we have a Discord? Uh, no. <laughs> we don't. Not for I'm cut. He's okay. still building it. All right. <laughs> Anyways. We love you. We miss you. And we really want to kiss you. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm back in.